Eight at the gate for the grade three Barbara Fritchie Sticks. And they're off in the Fritchie. Jakarta off to a sharp beginning. Good break, too, for Feed to Spree today. And she's sharp and going right there to challenge Jakarta early on. Bowl confection away running in third position. Glass ceiling between horses, and she's tugging right along, too. Glass ceiling wants to go. She's all the way up to second in between horses now. Another two, and it's Prodigy Doll who travels fifth down the back stretch run. And Regal retorting Kayla Soros and trailing the field is Bell of the North, who's got about 16 lengths to make up. The opening quarter aided by that west wind in 23.08. Jakarta's up top with glass ceiling close to her on the outside. She's just a half length behind, heading into the fire turn with bowl confection feed to spring fourth. Prodigy Doll travels fifth position. Length and a half more. Regal Retort ridden along. Kayla Soros ridden on the inside too. She's got six to make up as they round the far turn with three furlongs left to go and Bell of the North trails the field. 46.21 was the half mile. They reach the top of the stretch now. Glass ceiling, Jakarta. Nothing between them as they turn in. Fia Dispree tries to get off that inside from third. Kayla Soros down inside. Wide open run from the inside. And Prodigy Doll is in fifth. They're into the stretch. And the Barbara Frisci. It's a fight of the hands. A glass ceiling with Jakarta ever game on the inside. Fia Dispree to the center of the track is coming to join as well. Drifting a little wide. In fourth is Kayla Soros. It is Jakarta on the inside. Glass ceiling on the outside. Fia Dispree third. Glass ceiling. And an Ultra game win, turning back Jakarta through the stretch run. Fia de Spree was third, then it was Kayla Soros fourth, and Prodigy Doll finished fifth in the Barbara Frischi. The grade three Barbara Fritchie goes to an incredibly game uh, glass ceiling, excuse me. Charlie Baker, co-owner co as well as trainer next to me. Talk me through the emotions in the final stages there because that was close. Yeah, it was close. I th she's a fighter, so I was kind of, I was confident. <laughs> And, and we were talking before that she had a good race at Aqueduct. She came in here, but she had to be very, very fit because it looked like Dylan had a lot of horse underneath yeah, him. Yeah, sitting on my backside, he looked like he was sitting real chilly. And But the 23 quarter, I think, was in favor of the speed horse. So he had to, had to work down the lane. 
And you brought another horse over here in the last five years that was Primonetta Stakes winner, absolutely. So now you're kind of two from two in the last five years. What made you think that this track and, and especially this graded stakes race would suit glass seating? You know, the distance was the main thing why we came here. And I was looking for a great stake. Once she, she started running good, I was looking for it. And this was the obvious race in the time spot. And what does it mean to you as also a part owner to have her now gr a graded stakes winner? Well, you know, the residual value is a big deal when it, when it comes to affiliate mayor. So that's going forward. She got that in the bank. So we'll fully build on that. Massive congratulations. All right. Thank you. Glass ceiling wins the grade three. Barbara Fritchie.